Outdoor education or learning is a strategy that is becoming more and more commonplace in schools. It revolves around the idea that students can develop skills and understandings while valuing a positive relationship with natural environments and promoting the sustainable use of these environments. Teachers create learning experiences where students can work outside with the natural environment to do a lesson that they could normally do inside. Inviting students to participate in lessons outside allows them to feel more connected to the natural world and take risks in a safe and controlled environment. By allowing students to engage with nature, we hope that they will obtain a healthy respect for the environment and that they remember that throughout their lives. There are many benefits for outdoor education, including, but not limited to, learning resilience, interdependence and leadership, taking part in adventurous activities regularly, managing personal risks, and the learning of the value of our natural environment. Outdoor learning can also support the development of healthy and active lifestyles by offering students opportunities for physical activities, freedom of movement, and promoting a sense of well-being. Many children enjoy the outdoors, but they're used to playing inside at home and being in a classroom learning for six hours a day. If their learning is moved outside, evidence suggests that their motivation for learning will improve as they will engage with the content more. It provides a break from mundane busy work and allows students to use more creative thinking to problem solve and think outside of the box. If students are enjoying the work they're completing at school, their attendance rates will improve along with their health and well-being, research shows. Outdoor learning provides many opportunities for teamwork and empathetic discussions with peers that has a good chance of reducing bullying. Benefits for teaching include a reduced level of stress due to student misbehaviours, such as volume. Working in groups indoors can be a challenging act, as with many rooms, sound bounces around and amplifies. However, if these lessons were to take place outside and away from other classrooms, the students could talk normally and not have to worry about disrupting other classes. Nature Plays says, let us not forget, play is the work of children. And I think that really sums up what outdoor learning is. For those of us in the know, we know that outdoor learning is as simple as indoor learning. It's very easily incorporated into the Australian curriculum and many lessons can be easily modified to take place outdoors. For example, to meet the requirements of ACMNA 052, recognise and explain the connection between addition and subtraction, a lesson that would normally be conducted inside with counters and plastics could easily be done outside using natural materials. Throughout my life, I've had many opportunities to try different sports and outdoor activities. My family used to go camping often and I would use the skills I learnt at Scouts to do a variety of fun outdoor activities with my family. I was heavily encouraged by my mum and my primary school to take part in athletics and ultimately I ended up competing at nationals and taking out second place in discus when I was 12. After primary school though, I kind of gave up on sports and outdoor education and my family was too busy to take our annual camping trip to Inskip Point. Around a year ago, I decided that I wanted to get back into some sort of physical activity. I tried bouldering, tried gymnastics again, and just going to the gym. But none of them really excited me. Then I was watching the 2020 Paralympics and saw the triathlon race, and I thought, hey, I'll give that a go. I know my dad used to do that, and he used to talk about how much fun it was. Sure, let's go. So I set a goal to take part in my first official triathlon in April of 2022. It took months of training and a lot of sore knees from getting back into running, but I finally competed my first try at the Para Triathlon National Champions and came 23rd out of 23. But only by four minutes, and I will stand by that. I'm very proud of that four minutes. Go darling. Go Jess! Go Jess! Keep going doll. Just keep... Keep it up doll. 
Keep going, darling. Go, Jess. The training that I underwent helped me gain a bigger picture understanding. I didn't care about winning. I just wanted to finish the race. When I finished that race, I thought that I would never want to do anything like that again. I thought the pressure I put on my body would be too much and the pain would force me away from doing any more triathlons. But I found that I still really want to take part in tries and do more training to improve my fitness. I love riding around Murari Velodrome listening to my workout playlist. I love practicing my running on the treadmill or on the Wynnum foreshore. And swimming at my local pool, feeling the sun on my skin, is one of my absolute favourite things to do. Since starting my training, I've remembered that I really enjoy being outside and I hope that I can incorporate outdoor learning into my teaching when I graduate. You done? You done? done.